Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do a quick video about stuttering and how to remove stuttering in your video games or any other issue that you can have on your GPU. And normally I, I don't speak about it when I'm doing like an optimization video for video games because, because it's something else. But I just want to make sure that you guys know about those two software. Before going further in my video, I want to present the BenQ screen bar. It's a new screen bar that I have been using for the past two or three weeks on my laptop. And I really like it because the screen bar is a light that aims to optimize uh, your gaming setup. When I play on my laptop, I don't have any proper lighting and also I don't have uh, lights on my keyboard. It's not working anymore, so that's why I like to see my keyboard. It has a couple of features like auto dimming, uh, space saving with the special clip that they provide you. It's glare free, it's USB power also, no batteries. And also uh, it has an adjustable color temperature and brightness on the product. The product is $109. I will put the link on my video description. And honestly, if, you have, if you're struggling with your lighting, this product is pretty amazing. So first of all, let's go on the warniersoft.com. So the first software that you want to download, it's DDU. So take the latest one. And after that, we're going to scroll a little bit. Uh, and you want to download the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner here. So just download that and you will have two folder here. The first one that you need to use will be DDU. So the goal of DDU is just to remove all uh, the files about your graphic driver because with times you know you always update with a new version a new version and sometimes it ca it's causing issue also sometimes people are changing the video card for the same brand or another brand it's really good to just do a, a ddu uh, full clear that you just remove all this uh, driver software on your computer because you don't want to format your pc so you just remove everything about your video card and you just reinstall the latest driver so to do that first of all you will need to restart uh, your computer in safe mode if you don't know how to do it just like google it it's pretty easy uh, when you will restart it you have a couple of options that you have to choose to go in safe mode after that we're gonna open the ddu file right click on it super important to run it as an admin press yes and after that here, I'm going to have an error because they're telling me I'm not in safe mode. So that's why it's super important to make sure that everything is working. Go with safe, safe mode. And this is pretty much the software. So the first thing that you will need to do is select a GPU. And after that, you will have three different brands, NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel, if you're using an integrated GPU. And after that, you have pretty much one option to do. It's the clean and restart. This is the one that highly recommended. So you just press clean and, and restart. It will clean all your drivers from NVIDIA. It will reboot your computer. And after that, you will maybe have some weird, a weird resolution. It's because you don't have any driver anymore for your GPU. So just reinstall the latest version from your GPU. And now you will have a clean install for your GPU. So now because you did that, you now you you you, you want to make sure that Everything is clean, so you did that, so it's not your driver anymore if you're still struggling with FPS or stuttering. So I have a second option called the famous Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. So we're going to right click on it as an admin, press yes. So it's going to be there, double click on it. I'm going to stop it for now because I want to show you all the, the thing that you can change. So first of all, the left side is about your RAM. So it will help with if you don't have a lot of RAM in your computer, if you have some bottleneck also with your RAM. So I will show you what to do here. And the, 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 the right part, it's the part with the timer resolution. So you can reduce input lag. You can also remove stuttering uh, lag when you play a game. So I'm going to show you what to do here. So the first one is the RAM side. So the first line that's, that you can see here, the 16,000 meg, this is the amount of RAM that I have on my computer. So it will be the same for you if you have 8 gig, 32 gig, just look at your amount of RAM here. The list size uh, needs to be at 1024. You can stay like this. And after that, you have a, co a column called uh, free memory is lower than. So this will depend the, of the amount of RAM that you have. So for an example, if you have 8 gig, you can write something like 5096. If you have 16 gig, you can do as I did 8196. And if you have 30 gig, you can do 16,000 like this. So 
I'm gonna just put back my uh, 1009 like this, line 96. And uh, make sure that you check the start uh, ISLC minimize and auto start monitoring. So like this. So this is pretty much it. The first time that you will open the software, you can also purge your standby list uh, if you want. Uh, so it's going to reset it. going to make sure that everything is clean and fine. So this is pretty much it for the RAM part. Now we're going to use th this one, the famous uh, timer resolution. So the goal here is to have a current timer resolution at 0 0.5 and always that. You don't want a minimum or maximum. Uh, so you're going to want to make sure that everything is stable and you don't have any stuttering when you play a game. So you want to check the enable custom timer resolution here and you want to put 0 0.5 like this. And after that, you just press start. So if you see 0.5 MS here, everything is fine. It's matching the maximum timer resolution. So everything is working. And this is pretty much your 0.5. If you're seeing some render number, random number like 0.496 or something different than the amount that you put here, it's because you need to deactivate the HPET on your windows. So the real name is the high precision event timer. Uh, you have three comments here that I will show you how to use it. And after that, on my video description, first of all, those comments will be there. And I will put the comment to just remove this if you want to just roll back to the default Windows version. So you want to open your comments. So write CMD, right click on it, run as admin like this, press yes. So just copy paste the old line on your here so like this you should see the operation complete successfully right same thing with the second one copy paste again and the last one you should have an error normally but everything is fine it's just gonna make sure that it's not even there okay so like this now you're good so when you did that you will need to restart your computer to make sure this one is applied and reopen your intelligence then by list cleaner and press start again and normally you will see your 0.5 air as a current timer resolution so this is pretty much it guys so the first thing you need to do when you have an issue with your uh, graphic driver or any issue like random crashes uh problem with your fps and stuff Always DDU first, make sure that you clean and install your GPU. And after that, you can definitely test the intelligence then by list cleaner. For people who have like 4 gig RAM on your computer, it will help you a lot. If you have 32 gig, honestly, the left part will not necessarily help you. But the, the, the part at the right can really help you. A lot of people have issue with the HPET on Windows 10, like random stuttering, random uh, like input lag and stuff like that. So it will help you a lot. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my guide. If you have any question, just comment in the uh, YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and uh, the amount of RAM that you have. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.